Variant 6. We've also got Book 2, Act 1. We've got the 6th anniversary of MCOC with lots of different celebrations. A side event featuring Mojo again and a whole load of other things. Let's have a look at what's happening next month. Yes, indeedy, the 1st of December does bring us some new events. On Wednesday, the 1st of December, you'll see all these lovely things and more. I'd probably say go and check out the forums because how it usually drops is like loads of additional information seems to be kind of missed off from CCP information here. So more than likely, go to the go to like the forums and you'll probably get the most up-to-date stuff. I'll probably end up having to do a follow-up video, but let's go over this stuff as, uh, as quickly as possible as to what's happening next month. I think we all know, but there's a lot of question marks as to the champions of next month. We all know that we're going to get Spider-Ham. But in the info that I'm given by Kabam to kind of talk about, there's nothing mentioned about Scarlet Witch. So whether or not this holds on to a new theory that a lot of us are having is to how Marvel Realm and also Marvel Contest of Champions link together because the, the, the jump off day for the release is the 16th of December. So how this comes into play, whether or not this Scarlet Witch has some play in kind of opening up some kind of portal edge type thing between both types of universes on both types of games. Uh, I, I don't really know, but it's kind of weird that she's not included in some of the information here. So there must be something Kabama holding on to unless it's going to be a one champion month and Spider-Ham has a lot more of an input as to creation and... Uh, opening of the multiverse because let's face it multiversal type things is a big thing in the MCU and I think it'll probably be a big thing with Marvel games as well. Nothing's really mentioned in the abilities part here or the synopsis for the, the character and as well the, the month in question. The new side quest which is back on the air. Mojo ever heard of him? Rumor has it that Mojo's looking for a new superstar that will help source up, uh, spruce up ratings in his network. Spider-Man took care of some garbage around here. Want to help out uh, next crime fighting sensation the battle ram hop on ready so i don't know if back on the air is meant to be the uh, the the kind of the side quest don't know more information always needs to be put out about that so we'll wait to see spectacular sixth anniversary celebration so this will be where the summoner appreciation largely comes in with boosts gifts and special events by the way when they do boosts get into arena grinding you get more gold from doing quests and stuff doing a doing variant uh, in around that time usually are quite rewarding because you do get quite high volume back boost gifts and special events fill the battle realm as we celebrate six years of amazing battles and astounding champions and our summoners don't miss out on the six year anniversary calendar or special limited time events so yeah um, it's going to be good i do want to see some like decent stuff that's given back to the community whether or not we're going to see something nice when it comes to a winter cal calendar which we'll talk about that in a minute lots of exciting things are to come and if you're curious of what kabam dropped last year halls of heroes was a thing that came back uh, also with the summon appreciation so you got the uh, increased bonuses for your grind which i do recommend doing seven day anniversary calendar so they had a special calendar for uh, that which was great Anniversary boost, that's what I was talking about. A uh, special boost that grants 20% of all gold experience and battle chips. So earned by uh, Earn Will Be Live. Break open those gold and arena crystals to refill your coffers. So I would say hold on to your kind of like your gold crystals and stuff. I'm starting to collect mine. A uh, gold pool crystal, I don't know if that will be something that will return. But I think it's just down to like the anniversary gift, which a lot of the time is a specific champion. I can't remember what it was last year. I'll have to find out that. Which it looks like it was a 15,000 five-star shard present. So that's pretty cool. That's nice for the five-year. And different ones for different things. So it, that was for Cavalier. Uncollected got 10,000. So yeah, that just gives you an idea on, on that. And, and hopefully it's a bit more, especially for those that may be a throne breaker, maybe there's something a bit more for that. Maybe as well with uh, inf inflation or kind of meta changes, you'll see a bit more than that for a, a lot of different players, depending on the titleage, of course. Next up, book two, act one. This is something a lot of players want to see. I think they more they, they want to see it more for the type of rewards getting back. If you've 100%ed act six, and as well maybe 100%ed Abyss of Legends, then you've got options of new content to do. I don't know when I'm going to have enough time to do this, especially with having more of a push to get Act 6.3 done, then go 100% Act 6.2, and then looking to do 100% Abyss of Legends. To be honest, those three things are probably the most important stuffs. And as well, Variant 6, when that drops, there's a lot of kind of key content I need to catch up with and do. So I probably will be streaming, I think, a bit more than I will normally do. And as well, maybe working a lot more on weekends, which I'm not a big fan of doing, but... Look, if it takes a month 
uh, of hard work to catch up, then at least I can say I've done that. So let's kind of focus forward as much as possible. The other thing is that there's going to be a new Dead Devil buff, and this will be for the Hell's Kitchen version, previously known as Def, De Deflix, Dead Devil Netflix version. I'll be doing a video on the spotlight tomorrow. The problem is I think we're going to be uploading three bits of content today, maybe even four, and that's a bit too much when it comes to uploads. So I want to try and make sure if at least I'm doing four today or three today, then I'm saving a couple of vids for tomorrow, which may be crystal openings uh, when it comes to like the cyber weekend. Uh, but yeah, like um, uh, that's just kind of like telling you where I'm at. The main thing that interests me and a lot of players is variant six or back issue six and variant six is going to be all about your villain based champions hashtag villain champions are going to be the most effective and there's so many hashtag villain champions a lot of ones i've got and a lot of ones i still want to get but some that are really fun to play i mean as we go down to these ones here maybe not so much but there are some decent synergy pair ups so if you want to do abomination with red guardian at least you've got that amazing pair up for your damage output of poison so that's something to bear in mind vulture is i think a lot of people do sleep on vulture i actually really enjoy my vulture and i have debated the idea of uh, rank threeing as a six star minor weight a conversion but i think that i'd um, be given a lot of criticism if i didn't put all that effort and uh, emphasis on ranking up my um, my go my ghost as a six star but you know uh, each to their own with their own choices of who they rank up and reasons why but still there's a lot here a lot of utility champions mephisto is pretty fun mr sinister blocking unblockables inverted controls immune fantastic options in some some cases ronan we're going up against buff champions there was a, a real nice plethora of champions to choose from that are hashtag villain that could be really helpful for your grind and i'll be doing a full video on uh, the most effective ones and most fun ones and not say you have to use them but it is um more uh, enjoyable to kind of go against things like uh, node bonuses and as kabam say here with that notion new global buffs in variant difficulty will limit the power of champions who aren't tagged as hashtag villain for only those who are with a wicked spirit are able to handle the power of the black iso bring your most evil team and take advantage of several new buffs that will give an edge to villains capable of activating corresponding abilities as fury armor break and unstoppable heroes mercs and others will be able to enter the quest but be warned the corrupting aura of black iso resonance will limit their impact in the combat so yeah that'll be interesting to find out like you know what ones are going to be the best ones and i'll be doing a video on that but as well it'll be really cool as well for the first, uh, for th this time, it features the quest contamination, which Jessica Jones and Summoner and the Summoner uncover an underground fighting ring powered by a mystery. It'd be good to see a return to that. Um, we even mentioned it about that particular event called uh, Contamination, where you uh, you have I think it was Joe Fixit was the end boss of it. Any case, it's it's still pretty cool to kind of like see a return to this. And as well, Jessica Jones, if she's an enemy or she's um, seen. Uh, that'd be still cool part of the uh, the story arc. Also, I think we all know by now about Alliance Quest Season 8 going live. A lot of good things for the Glory Store. A few limitations here or there. A little bit of frustrations here and there as well. But apart from that, uh, it's really interesting to note that you can get more value from doing Alliance Quest than doing Alliance Wars, especially from Rank Up Materials. And that's going to be something of a subject of a video. Shout out to APOC because he did talk to me about this today, the idea, and we'll try and see if we can develop it uh, about seeing whether or not an alliance would be of more value to push the narrative of Alliance Quest over Alliance Wars. So that'll be an interesting video to deep dive, and that'll probably take a month to, to research and kind of get together the stats. So, uh, so yeah, looking forward to kind of like delivering that, but interesting nevertheless. Now, the quite big and massive news from this particular release note is happy holidays. Celebrate the holiday season in uh, the bathroom. Don't miss our special holiday calendar starting later in December. Because here's the thing. I know a lot of people will be saying, well, are we getting a winter calendar? Are we getting a holiday calendar? Are we getting something that is gifting, a gifting event? Well, let's just put this into perspective. Last year, and a normal scheme of things, is the release of the special calendar, winter calendar, holiday calendar, whatever you want to call it. It normally drops towards the latter point of the month. This is taken from Marvel Contest of Champions True Cost last year, 17th of December 2019. This is a normal time that this will go in. It's always the last 14 days of the month that you'll see a calendar like this, and it's normally having the most spiciest things. And depending on... Uh, different types of titleage. There may be something the same or there may be different. Either way, this will give an indication. If Kabam are not announcing the gifting event, and the thing is data miners could find out whether or not there's a gifting event or not 
if there are greater gifting crystals in this calendar. So that's the thing. It's going to go down around about the 17th of December to find out what is going on. And it could be an announcement very, very soon to kind of give you an indication if that's going to happen. But yeah, this is the most spiciest calendar of the year, apart from the Summon Appreciation calendar, but that takes absolutely ages. So this is like a condensed 14 days of good stuff. So yeah, you could get some nice spicy stuff from this. This is 2019's, and I really hope that if they do something with 2020, that it's a bit more spicier especially for those um, and where we are with the game and what we need because like we need a lot more than just one tier two alpha i'll tell you that much and a lot more when it comes to certain shards so yeah roll on the end of next month also for those interested there's a lot of bug fixes there's a substantial amount for like different characters but there's also like a lot of things that doesn't look like it's overly addressed it's good to see something where was it what was it a mega red that was something we wanted to find out fix an issue with the sp3 three uh, power game was inconsistent well that's not it that's not what we we're looking for we we're looking to see the uh, the death field being addressed I, I can imagine that's going to be something that they'll look at uh, independent from from this particular update there's maybe something they just had in there also other changes or improvements to the fix issue where the game would stall after pressing the fight button that has been something players have been talking about for a little while so it's good to see kabam have decided to address that so press fight game freeze fix an issue where pausing the game when blocking would cause the player to stay in the blocked animation and prevent them from attacking so that's two things there i think mainly to do with the uh, press fight game freeze issue which i assume this is to do with if it's not it'd be interesting to find out when the update goes live as to the tw uh, as to like has it sorted out sorted out the players issues with this now it looks like there does seem to be some nice stuff available next month when it comes to content you have the end game players have the opportunity to do book two act one also there will be act uh, not act there will be variant six so that's going to be fun for players to do i'm looking forward to that i think the most and also there's other content which looks um you know fun as well I hope that the calendar, the winter calendar, is spicy for players. I also hope that there's uh, the return of a gifting event, but that's something still to be announced. And as well, the calendar for that, uh, for the winter calendar, needs to be, you know, uh, like addressed as to whether or not it's going to be with the current meta of what players want to see. But I think as well, the anniversary, that's going to give those that are intense arena grinders that opportunity to grind out the good stuff. More battle chips, more gold. You know, that is something that's going to be quite cool. And I'm looking forward to doing quite an intensive uh, grind on arena if I'm not kind of doing any other content. So looking forward to that as well. If you enjoyed this video, then make sure as well to slap the like on it. That would be very helpful. And as well, make sure to check out some other content located around here. I'm sure there's going to be lots of news, lots of news drops in the coming month. So yeah, it's going to be a very, very active, very, very busy time for a lot of players and as well myself and any of the content creator covering this stuff. So thanks very much for the support. Make sure to check out some stuff up there and we'll see you all very soon. Bye bye for now.